Hello, my name is Sergei Pogromniak. I am with Research and Development at Software AG, and today I will be covering Commit Central 9.6 template based provisioning using Web UI. In the previous video, we have covered how Command Central 9.6 can be used to set up centralized repositories for products and fixes, which later can be used for template based provisioning. So let's go through the steps of how to create and apply the template to perform provisioning of products, fixes, and configuration. First thing to do is to switch from the repositories view to the landscape view. Let's go to our development environment and open up the installation for DevIS1. On this screen, we see a new icon that can be used to access two new menus, apply template and save template. First thing to do is to save current installation as a template. Selecting this menu opens a dialog where you can specify alias of the template to be created, its optional description, and then what needs to be included into this template. Choose an alias for your template, for example, demo template one. The description is optional and you can specify something that explains what this template is going to be used for or what it contains. For example, integration, server, products, and configuration. You can choose what to include into the template, which is products, fixes, configuration, or related configuration files. In this case, we can choose to include everything and click Save. Command Central reports that the job to create template successfully started. You click Finish and you can wait a little bit until you get another confirmation that the job has completed and the template is created. Now let's go to the target node where we want to apply the template and that would be in our case DevIS2. Currently we notice that it does not contain IS or any other products. It only includes running SPM and that's it. So to start provision operation using template that we just created, we will access the same menu and now we select a apply template. The template that we just created is located in the list of templates. The list can be easily filtered by typing in the filter box or if the list of templates is fairly short, um, you can just see a template in this list. You can use page and controls if the list is large. There is information about the current template that you selected in the list displayed below which includes the template alias, description, where it was created from, who created the template when, and what the template includes. Select the template and click Next. The next step is to select whether you want to install products on the target node using the product list saved in this template. If you do not want to install products, then you uncheck this checkbox install products from the template. If you do want to install products, check the checkbox and select the repository that you want to install the products from. In our case, we have two repositories. One is the master 9.6 US repository and the other one is an image that contains integration server products. Select the image, click next, the second selection is whether we want to install fixes and the only source repository that we have configured is empower. Our source node did not contain any fixes so in my example it is irrelevant whether we select install fixes or not, no fixes will be installed anyway so I will just unselect that. Click next and we get to the um, screen where you can specify what to do with the configuration included into the template. The default selection is apply the configuration, capture it in the template, and 
merge it with the existing configuration. You can choose to replace the configuration on the target with what's in the template. This will effectively remove any configuration instances that are not present in the template. The instances that present on the target and present in the template will be overwritten. And it doesn't matter which selection you make, merge or replace. Let's select merge, which is a default option. And the second checkbox indicates whether you want to include files that are related to the configuration captured in the template. Some configurations like, for example, key stores and trust stores point to an external file that can be included into the template and can be applied to the target. Click Next and get to the final confirmation screen where the wizard asks you to review the selected settings, what template to apply, what is the target node, what is the target installation directory, and what, which actions to perform. Install products from the given repository, whether to install fixes or not, whether to apply configuration and how to apply it, and whether to include the files. When you click Finish, you should get a confirmation that the job has successfully started and now you can wait a little bit and receive another notification when the job is completed. This may take um, several minutes depending on how many products you have in your template and what you're using for your uh, repository. As you can see, since this installation is monitored, you see the uh, CPU has spiked to 82%. That means that something has started, some process has started. We can monitor what's going on on the server, on the target node. If we open up SPM by opening up logs tab and open install log and tail its contents by refreshing the log. We can see that currently installer is trying to create IS instance with the given parameters, default port and other things. And if we keep tailing this log, it may take a few moments. If we keep doing that, at some point the installer will finish and then continue to the uh, next step in our process. As we can see, something has changed once we refreshed the log last time. And now we can see that installer finished successfully with zero code. And if we go back to logs and open templates, we should see something um, interesting here as well. We can see that template configuration application started. And if we refresh the log again, all is good. And we can see that the template has been successfully applied. So now we can go back to our we can go back to DevIS2 installation. And now we need to refresh this installation to pick up the changes. And we can see that integration server is now here, it's installed but it's stopped, which is expected because installer does not automatically start any products and we have to do it ourselves. So let's start integration server. We get a confirmation that operation successfully started and we can go back to IS details and force refresh to get the status. And we can see that it's now unresponsive. That means it's starting up. But now we can see that the JVM has successfully started. And let's see if the integration server engine is starting up as well. Right now it reports unresponsive. We can also tail the IS log. And we can see it's loading root package 
and other packages, full package, and it's getting close to be up. And this means the port 555 is open. If we go to overview and force refresh again, we can see that its status is online. And now we're getting the monitoring data back. Now, when the Gresham server is up and running, let's double check that the configuration from the template has been successfully applied. Open integration server through the SSO link. And we go to the settings and licensing. And we see that license is applied and everything is enabled. This is very good. That means our template was successfully applied, provisioned integration server and all its dependencies, as well as configuration that includes everything that was on the source IS now applied to the target IS. Let's go to the configuration tabs and open the list of available configurations. If you don't see the list like this and it's much shorter, you may need to refresh your configuration by using this force refresh button. The reason why the list may not be fully populated is because most of these configurations require IS to be running and if that list was cached before IS successfully started, then it may only include a few items that don't require us to be running. So if you see a much shorter list of configurations, use forced refresh. Let's open up licenses. And here we see that we have two license entries, one for IS Core, one for Terracotta. And IS Core license is present with a valid expiration date and we see other details for that license are also present here and that means that the license was successfully applied from the template to this target as. This concludes our basic walkthrough Command Central 9.6 Web UI to create and apply a template to perform template-based provision of product fixes and configurations. Thanks for watching.